I think I want to start with this cotton candy dog because mm -hmm. it's maybe the weirdest. It's the one that's the scariest for <laughs> sure. Cotton candy is my jam. We had sporting events. And hot dogs are great. It makes me so pleased, Britain. I, I don't know. And then I thought we'd go to the one pound Cheetos. I'm curious like how heavy it is. I like, would imagine it, a one pound bag is one bag. Is it one, one, one pound? But maybe the inside out hot dog, which to me is the most confusing because you get a side of hot dog with your hot dog. I feel like you might like that. Since you I, I eat like a child, so mac and cheese, yeah, sure. Hey, I'm Sarah Vlaskovich. This is Britton Peel. We're with GuideLive.com and the Dallas Morning News. We're here at the Rangers Ballpark. It's empty today, but we are going to try a bunch of these wacky new fried foods. Now first, the cotton candy hot dog. Britton, this looks crazy. Do you eat green things a lot? Uh, I'm okay eating green things. <laughs> the, the thing is, I think this has the most potential for disappointment because I love cotton candy so much. Aha! Uh -huh. And. I don't know, I'm just really, really worried about this. This is, this is a little funny. So this is a regular hot dog topped with cotton candy and the green mustard, if you want to try it, Britton, the green mustard is yellow mustard with blue cotton candy mixed together just so it looks kind of funny. Um, so I got I got the one that matches my shirt, you got the one that matches your shirt. Mm. Let's eat. Oh. I don't know. The hot dog part tastes like a hot dog. I'll tell you that much. I like it. I like that a lot. It's, it's like a little bit sweet hot dog. The mustard is a little bit sweet because of that cotton candy. I got a nice bite of cotton candy. And I'll tell you guys, when I was a kid, all I ate at the ballpark was cotton candy. That's when my dad got me here. And then he taught me about baseball when I was there. So that's, I think that's pretty darn good. It's also the best priced 10 bucks here. It's not, it's not bad. So Britton, this is the first time I will ever eat Cheetos with a fork. That, that's fair. You, you normally need to get your hands real good. This, cheese. yeah, I don't even think you need to mess up your hands here. So this is, these are Cheetos in a one pound bag. You can get your choice of meat. You've got beef, I've got chicken. I think you can pick at the concession stand. It's $26, then you get a bunch of nacho toppings like sour cream, jalapenos, nacho cheese, of course, pico. Um, and then you just dig in there, I guess, with your fork and this, fish around for a Cheeto. The, trying to get that's weird. Cheetos with a fork is a weird, like the beef is fine. But, uh. You know what? These are those are twenty six dollar nachos. That's what that is. I mean, instead of tortilla chips, they're Cheetos. That's exactly what it is. Except, I feel like you should caveman it and just eat it with your hands. Yeah, like it seems like it would make more sense. I mean, there's nothing sophisticated about buying a one pound bag of Cheetos already. Like, just go for it, right? Yeah. So you like it? It's all right. What? I yeah, think they're I think they're expensive nachos myself. It's. And, and they are tough to eat with a fork, and yeah, it's there's a lot of things happening. There's the meat, there's the yeah, everything else. It's I don't know, I don't hate it. Okay. Now the inside out hot dog. This is the one that I'm most nervous about. Um, it it's is fair. a one pound hot dog, but it's only eight inches long, but three inches around. Then they top it with stuff, meat, um, mashed potatoes, or mac and cheese. And then there's this, see this meat stick right here. They core out the inside of the hot dog, they wrap it in bacon and they fry it because this is America, you guys. So I just ate that. There's, there's bacon wrapped around a hot dog. There's a lot of bacon. It's pretty good. Here's the thing, Sarah. How do now I what? eat the rest of this? Yeah, um, you go first. But um, I, I mean, okay, but like there's bread over here. Maybe two hands? Here. Maybe, maybe just like this. Yeah, I don't okay. know, I'm not sure. Like I mean, I'm not gonna judge you, so. It's a pretzel roll. Sure. Thank you, yeah, go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nope. You got napkins? Okay. Wow. It's probably not the way to eat that. I think maybe a knife. Yeah. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's a little dense. It's a lot of hot dog in the middle with a little bit of stuff on top. It's... That bacon on a stick. The hot dog wrapped in bacon on a stick was delicious. This, yeah, that was fine. Mm, yeah, it's, More novelty than anything else, maybe. It's a difficult to eat, okay hot dog. This is what I was excited about. Yeah. This is a brownie wrapped in Rice Krispie treats, then deep fried, covered in whipped cream, and then we have a white chocolate drizzle that looks like mustard, um, a raspberry or strawberry that looks like ketchup, and of course chocolate. Everything you've said so far sounds great. This, so. this looks awesome and sounds awesome. Now is it worth it? Okay, cheers. Yep. And yep. now what? <laughs> Just take uh -huh. a big bite. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. It's 
just gonna fall off of the, the stick. That's awesome. That's really good. I like that it's, a lot. It tastes like funnel cake on the outside, but then you got the brownie and the rice krispie. Mm. I would buy two of these. That is completely delicious. It's it's hard to. It's a little hard to eat. Yeah. But especially, uh, I mean, look at that. I take the challenge. I'm worth it. Um, twenty six dollars for the twenty four incher. It is. It's almost 13. a dollar an inch. Yes, that's right. It it's great. Thirteen bucks for a twelve incher. Um, if it were up to me, I'd go for twenty four. Sure, of course. Now, if you were going to improve on this in any way, would you make it longer or wider? 